We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. Leveraging over 140 million qualifications and preferences every day, Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences, so the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. Join more than 3.5 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash BlueWire. Just go to Indeed.com slash BlueWire right now and support our show by saying that you heard about Indeed on this podcast. That's Indeed.com slash BlueWire. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. up cow fans we are back this is the 89 blitz coming at you in the off season here with the golden bear cast a part of the blue wire podcast network alongside me i have my co-host rob rob how you doing Woo-hoo, another 89 blitz that's clearly stoked clearly so stoked so happy so happy and we are here to discuss the big news that dropped I think it was about two weeks ago, May, May 13th. May 13th. That about right? Yep. And the Pac-12 finally made the move. Good old Larry Scott, I believe his tenure is up at the end of June, so the end of Q2. Yep. He is getting the good old PTI happy trails. Happy trails, Larry Scott. And we are now welcoming a new commissioner in the Pac-12 by the name of George... <laughs> I want to hear Klyakov, <laughs> Klyakov, Klyakov, <laughs> something like that. Some with some with a K and a B and an A and a cough somewhere was, in there. I wanted to see how much you would butcher this last name. <laughs> Cliv, Cliv Cloth. <laughs> we'll George find- K. George we'll, K. We'll find George out at K. the beginning of football season when they like finally like announce him and like do impactful media days and they someone says his name and we're like oh so that's how you say it <laughs> <laughs> wasn't how I did it nope we're gonna just gonna throw that out and say it wasn't that so yeah we hired George K George K from MGM and I know what you're thinking which is what am I thinking well didn't Larry Scott come into his position. <laughs> From an outsider role, and they announced as a conference that they were looking to get somebody that knew the ins and outs and could understand the full breadth of the athletic requirements from each particular conference member. Mm -hmm. And so they made the obvious hire (laughs) and pulled the guy from Las Vegas with zero college football experience. We all saw that one coming. (laughs) So Rob, give me your thoughts. I so this hire this hire has its pros and cons in my mind. Cuz I looked at like what he's done, right? And and uh like with MGM and all that. And I'm sure I think the MGM stuff does play a role because of course we play the college or the women's and the men's both play their conference basketball tournaments in Las Vegas, right? Like all of that is there. I think they're moving they're going to move the the Pac-12 championship game to Vegas at some point. Um, so all that considered, they probably had run-ins with him in setting that up. And that's why there's that familiarity there of how to, to connect with the college sports world from a – from like a merchandising slash like, you know, um, event venue direction, right? And that might be the direction they want to go now because of how much they screwed up, like, setting up the Pac-12 network and, like, the TV deals and all that. Now you have a guy who has experience working with, uh, according to the article uh, from or the, the press release from the Pac-12 conference, uh, NBC Universal, MLB's Advanced Media. Like, you have a guy now who has dealt with media, 
the media aspect of events and like promoting um, sports. So if you can get, if you can bring him in to do that, and if he can somehow knock out a TV deal with like YouTube TV or Hulu over the next however many months before the football season starts, he's already a success. <laughs> he's already he, he already he already will be, have done so much more than Larry Scott has done. That that also on top of that, I think a lot of people suspect that the Pac-12 net, uh, the Pac-12 headquarters, which is currently in in downtown San Francisco, might move to to Vegas at some point because he is so uh, heavily connected in that city, and it makes so much sense, especially if you're going to have the Pac-12 men's and women's basketball championships and the Pac-12 football championship in Vegas to have your headquarters in Vegas. It, it, it makes too much sense in my mind. Um, so all in all, I'm waiting to see how this pans out. Cause like you're not bringing in a guy from another sport. You're basically bringing in this guy to maximize the amount of profits made via meteorites and like promoting a product, which is the product of PAC 12 sports. Hmm. And there were, there was one comment in his press in his opening presser that some people weren't really, didn't really like, uh, but some of the positives is like he want he said the first thing is he wants to start those conversations about NLI, right? He wants to be at the forefront of those conversations and to to help that process. I was like, all right, ding, positive. Um, and then he was like, I want I want we know like where all our money is made, which is men's basketball and football, right? And like that his thing is to promote those things. So positive, yes, ding. The only negative side, in my opinion, to that comment was he kind of didn't really address any of the other sports. <laughs> like, he addressed the ones that he knows, like, from a financial standpoint, make the most money, and that's what's going to help the, the conference progress. And realistically, it's it's true, right? That's, like, all, that, all the money that's being made is if, you know, we get teams to, like, go further in the NCAA tournament or, you know, in the New York Six Bowls or in college football playoffs, all of that. So... I get where he's coming from, from a financial standpoint, from a student athlete perspective. Like that's not kind of what you want to hear from your commissioner to just only talk about the two sports that is like the the star, you know, highlight showpiece of your conference. Um, that's kind of what I actually liked about Larry Scott. He was very heavily invested in the non like revenue sports and saying how important that was to each school and like the DNA of the conference. And, you know, he always talked about the winning the multiple championships in other sports outside of the two, the two main ones like women's basketball and how well they do and, and rowing gymnastics and rugby and, you know, volleyball. Like he always loved to talk about that stuff, which I, I appreciated as a PAC 12 fan. Um, but that he didn't, he didn't get the real job done. And I think that's where commissioner George is going to come in and, uh, and do his thing. But I am, I am slightly worried about that aspect of it. Um, your thoughts. No, I'm with you 100%. That was well articulated. I am shocked that someone on their first day of the job would try to alienate <laughs> 95% of their student athletes from the universities that are participating in their conference. To put it only on men's sports feels yeah. incredibly short-sighted in the world we live in now and feels like we're going back in time. So I felt like that was, that was a huge miss yeah. from... To say that that's where it's bread and butter. Look, Cal said the same thing. Point point blank. Cal said the same thing. They just did it in a much nicer way. They said, look, we need we know that we're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. Leveraging over 140 million qualifications and preferences every day, Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences, so the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. Join more than 3.5 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash BlueWire. 
Just go to Indeed.com slash Blue Wire right now and support our show by saying that you heard about Indeed on this podcast. That's Indeed.com slash Blue Wire. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. You've had Wendy's nugs dipped in sauce, but have you had them covered in sauce? Wendy's new saucy nugs take the crispy and spicy nugs you love and turn them up to 11. Choose between flavors like buffalo or honey barbecue, garlic parm, or if you're a real heat seeker out there, you can try spicy ghost pepper only on Wendy's signature spicy nugs. Listen, I'm going to dare you to do it. I dare you. That's seven delicious ways to try the nugs that you already love. Pick a flavor. Grab some extra napkins and then grab a few more napkins and prepare to nug like you've never nugged before. For a whole new way to nug, it's got to be Wendy's at participating U.S. Wendy's. The revenue, gen- revenue generation for our university starts with football, <laughs> mm-hmm. and we have to succeed in football first. Everything else comes after that. That's fine. That's I, great. Like I, I get it. You're not coming out and saying like our bread, our bread is butter with <laughs> men's football and men's basketball. Like, dude, like what? Like, come on. Like, we have so many amazing people that come out of our universities that are representatives in much different ways than just being basketball players and football players. It's ridiculous. So, huge miss for me on that. And my hu- my big negative against George is he worked at MLB Advance Media. <laughs> MLB, so for those of you that don't know, because I actually had to interact with MLB Advanced Media um, back in the day when I was trying to sell a marketing software, this ridiculous company used to work at. <laughs> and the, every, what they did was they took all of the different areas that baseball could work with from a marketing perspective, everything that could possibly be out there, and they brought that into one organization called MLB Advanced Media that controls all of the media. So if you want anything, you have to go to MLB like it was like called BAM, MLB BAM or something like that. And that's how it works. So it's very like the nucleus of it is super top down to me. It's it doesn't really allow for what I think a more flat organization might have where you have more opportunities to innovate and and that's because all of that is protected because it's so hard to get access to it so what's happened to baseball since they've moved to mlb advanced media well you look at basketball as the counterpoint to this basketball has been pretty a little bit more loose with their highlights so what has happened well instagram blew up and house of highlights blew up with it and all I see on Instagram are basketball highlights. And now all of a sudden I'm seeing football highlights. Yep. So I get NFL highlights. I get basketball highlights. Dude, I see freaking golf highlights. Yeah. I see everything except baseball. <laughs> the amazing home run derby. I will never forget this. The, the quintessential moment for why this system did not work for baseball was when Vlad Guerrero – had the amazing home run derby. And I can't even remember who he was squaring up against, which is insane because I remember at the time it was incredible. And it was like Vlad for somebody else. But I tried to go look it up and see him hit all those. And there was no videos on Instagram. There's no videos on Twitter. There's no replays allowed and anywhere besides on the MLB site. So if I am not a core consumer, and like I even tried to look it up on the MLB app, couldn't even find it. And it's just mind-blowing to me. So, look, I don't know how involved he is. I'm not trying to come out and scare everybody and say he's going to be – I'm just going to say, like, that's a huge blip on the res- – like, a huge concern for me on the resume. And I would have been, like – if I was in the interview room, I'd be like, yeah, um, let's take, like, an hour and a half and just talk about your time at MLB. <laughs> 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 uh, great. Cool, George K. Awesome. Um so I think that's you know that's it. He's obviously saying the right things. I mean, coming out, oh yeah, okay. I want I want the f- college football ex- expanded. Great, like who doesn't? Um, <laughs> I I think that's like an easy one. Like yeah, awesome. Like it got a bunch of my friends riled up, and for the right reason, it's what we should do. I think that it's what we all um, want. Just what give what want. the people want. The customer is always right. 
So, you know, and I'm glad to see that that's on the table. I think what you talked about, like the idea of moving the Pac-12 championship game to Vegas is a pretty good idea. Uh, I do think that like no one was really traveling out to San Francisco for it. And Vegas is like this really nice hub between like the Pacific Northwest, California, Mm -hmm. the Mountain West or whatever you want to call Arizona, Utah, Colorado, like, um, and be Vegas kind of being like smack dab in the middle of that. It's super fun to go to. Like, I would want to go maybe just to be there. Like, at the Raider Stadium is amazing. Yeah, that's where they're gonna have it. So yep. it's like, that's really smart as far as pulling out the Pac-12. Yeah, you probably the real estate's out here is so crazy. Like, that's fiscally really responsible to do that. So I, I know he commented on that. So like, all that stuff makes sense to me. And so am I confident on the broadcast side, the revenue side, that we're gonna start to maybe get away from wanting to have a commissioner that wants to mess around with 9 30 a.m football games <laughs> <laughs> yes but not with i don't know if this is the home run hire that i was really looking for and mm-hmm. so i think like i i give it like well you know larry bar as you mentioned as you so appropriately mentioned it's a pretty low bar <laughs> so if you can get us into some different ways of getting the product out there, that's great. But also, like, the Olympics are coming up. Cal's, like, Cal itself is going to have massive representation. The universities of the PAC, you know, the student athletes from the PAC-12 will have mm-hmm. massive representation. And the fact that our commissioner isn't out there uh, necessarily, like, vocally supporting those former student athletes or even current student athletes, like, that's crazy to me. Yeah. I think you you nailed all the, the points I missed. Um. But the big, I, I mean, like it's just like to be real about like where the finances are, and you—that's that's exactly what you talked about. Like, that's why I'm like, if you can, if you can nail down that TV deal within the next like four months before football season starts, like you're already trending in the right direction with all Pac-12 schools and fans already. Like, you know, if like, can I please cancel my Comcast? Uh, what's it subscription like can i please cancel that contract like i just can i just move on to youtube tv for crying out loud and get the cal game <laughs> like like yeah. <laughs> let me cut the cord <laughs> is it too much to ask for like sure i don't i don't mind having it because you know it's not delayed and it's not dependent on my internet speed or whatnot but yeah. i would love to consolidate into a single like <laughs> i just pay for internet and i pay for like youtube tv like that's that's what i get that's where i get my tv but Ah, uh, that's, that's the dream. That's the dream over the next few months. And I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to do that. I think that that side of it, you know, like there's definitely some low hanging fruit here that exists. And I, I think that will happen, but I encourage us to have a higher bar than just that. Oh yeah. Because, you know, at the, at the end of the day, like, yes, that stuff matters and we know why it matters, but I do think the brand of like conference of champions means a lot it's Mm -hmm. always something that i at least have taken a lot of pride in and um that doesn't just mean conference i mean certainly not the conference of champions for football and basketball uh anytime recently so uh, that's made up of all those other teams and um yeah if you're not plastering videos of bill walton saying conference of champions as a marketing tool what are you doing (laughs) what are you doing Bill Walton's a very polarizing figure, and I really enjoy it, but this is a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> Some people might not like it. Um, this is the Blitz. We're staying focused today. <laughs> but that's it. I think we talked about it enough. I think people enjoyed our takes. If you've enjoyed the Blitz, let us know, um, and uh, we'll figure out what more to talk about on the Blitz, or you can let us know what else you want us to talk about in short form. But that's it. And as always, go Bears. Go Bears. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data, 
and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. Leveraging over 140 million qualifications and preferences every day, Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. Join more than 3.5 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash BlueWire. Just go to Indeed.com slash BlueWire right now and support our show by saying that you heard about Indeed on this podcast. That's Indeed.com slash BlueWire. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Indeed. 